Justin fought. That's right. Justin fought Charles and yeah. got stopped. Okay. Yeah. Justin fought uh, Dustin Poirier. How many times did they fight? Justin Dustin only fought the ones. Pretty sure. Justin Gagey and Dustin Poirier. So I know what you're saying. Okay. So J- Charles beat Justin, and then Islam beat Charles. So Islam would. I mean, the MMA math. It's the, hard to say, but yeah. Well, if you wanted to have a, a Gagey Charles rematch, so Ooh. like you know, Charles took him out. Pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, I, I like I said, I haven't seen all of it. I've seen a couple highlights, but it w- didn't seem like Charles really ever had Islam in danger, did he? Well, Charles was, like, competent, you know? He was, like, defensively responsible. He threatened a little bit off of his back, but Islam was so good in that fight. It's like, who is compelling? Is, yeah. Other than Volkanovski, like, who's compelling? I mean, there's no, no one on that I look at and be like, ooh, that would be fucking interesting. I, I, yeah. I mean, other than Volkanovski, who's at 45, who's still even questionable if it is. I mean, does Islam go up? Is there, who's at 70? Oh, fuck, Islam could be Leon. Dude, this is how crazy <sighs> good, that would be That would be an amazing fight. Yeah, this is uh, Gaethje versus Oliveira. Oh, Charles. This is how good Islam is, right? Because up until this moment... When Charles Oliveira finished Justin Gaethje and he just beat him up and, and, and dropped him on the feet and then su- submitted him on the ground, people were thinking, there's no one that can challenge Charles. Charles is at such an elite level. Islam beats him so soundly that now you're like, I don't even know if it makes sense for Charles to fight him again. Yeah, that's that's insane. How That's how good he is. Yeah. I mean, does he move up? I mean, Islam in Kamaru? That's interesting. If That's if Kamaru beats Leon, if but you're assuming that Islam wants to go up, yeah, like he might decide that you know he could just crush everybody at 155 and just run the division for a while. Yeah, I mean, why would he just if he just won the title? Why would he go up to 70? Right? No, that's yeah, that's yeah. I mean, it would be crazy though if he goes if if uh, he beats Volkanovski, who's the 45 pound champ. He does not double champ, but beats the 45 pound champ, beat the 55 pound champ, and then goes up and beats the 70 pound champ. That's a fucking insane, dude. Look how fucking well he dominates on the ground here. Yeah, his he next gets level is back. He cranks out a, a triangle while he's sitting there. Yeah, most fighters don't have great actual like high level. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Dude, look at that transition to the rear naked. I mean, that's just body triangle. Sen- sensational. Yeah. It's just sensational. That so Charles beautiful. was so good. Charles was so good <sighs> when he was running shit that we couldn't imagine a fight where you you maybe didn't think it was compelling for him to fight for the title again. That's how good Islam is. It was it was Charles nuts. the fav- uh, underdog, too, going into that? Yes. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, he was the underdog. That's crazy. Which is nuts. Yeah, who that's the fuck? nuts. Yeah, that is as, as dominant as he was as a champion to have him be the underdog. Make sure that's true, because I'm pretty sure that's true. Is that true? That Charles Oliveira was the underdog in the Islam Makachev fight. Uh, yeah, I'm, who I'm knows? I'm pretty sure he was. In two years, some fucking stud can just come out of nowhere and be like the yeah. next guy. The next guy could be in fucking was underdog. Oliver was the underdog. By, it was not a lot, but yeah, he was the yeah, underdog. Yeah, that's Crazy. insane. Champion, dominant champion, Fuck. submitting everybody, underdog. That's how good Islam is. That's nuts. I wonder if Michael Chandler would have beat Poirier if it would have been more, if we would have been yeah. more excited Excellent. for Chandler versus Islam rather mm. than Poirier versus Islam. Yeah, 190. It's a two to one favorite. Almost two to one. Yeah. 60, 65.5% win probability to become the new lightweight champion. Damn. That's insane. Yeah, That's how that good that guy is. That is bananas. I feel like Charles fought a bunch, like back to back to back oh, to yeah. back. He did. Yeah. That's what you do, though. I mean, look what Izzy's doing. He's fucking doing it. Well, when he fought was. Tony Ferguson, that was like a big coming out party for him in a lot of ways. Mm. You know, he fought Tony Ferguson, and people were like, oh, shit. Like, look how he dominated Tony. And when yeah. Tony didn't tap from that arm bar, <sighs> oh. <sighs> That gives me fucking, yeah, oh. that shit's gross. Yeah. 